Hi there. I am excited to talk to you today about one of my Mythbusters, MLM Mythbusters. I'm hoping by now that you've either seen a few of them or you've heard of me somehow because I like to just bust through these myths. I don't, I really want to be a support and a cheerleader for you if you're not finding it elsewhere. I think it's such a tight knit community. We need to stick together and support one another in, in this industry. So here I am sharing some tips that have helped me that are totally breaking the mold of what people think. So here's what I'm wondering. I'm going to ask you this question. Are you one that has thought to yourself, or have you tried to bring someone into the business that has shared this opinion that you have to be skilled or really great at sales to be successful in this business? So either like a really good, I'm not skilled enough, I'm not smart enough, or I've never done sales. I don't know how I'm not a salesperson. You have to be salesy to do this business. Is that something you've heard before or thought before? If so, you're at the right place because I'm going to share with you that is a total myth. You do not have to have the skill set. You do not have to have sales experience. You do not have to be smart. And I am living proof. I came to this business with really very little belief in myself as far as my capabilities and my smartness. Okay. I mean, I was one that struggled through high school, struggled, definitely struggled, struggled through college, barely made it, failed more tests than I, I care to admit to. I am definitely, I wouldn't consider smart. Okay. So I'm living proof. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to be skilled. I had zero experience in sales, zero experience in network marketing. And, it, and yet here, here I am sharing this with you. So I do have three tips that are all kind of linked together. You could almost say it's just one tip, but really the first thing, and first and foremost, it's the reason I have success and others have success is they have a very compelling why. There's something that drove them to start the business and stick with the business. So what is it that, that compelled you to join your company? What was it that, uh, that really got you excited about the company, the products? What was it? And what is the hope that you get to, to have after being involved in the company? That's first and foremost. And I teach that with every person that joins my team. I want to know why did you join? What is it you hope to accomplish? That tells me a lot about that person. And that can change and evolve over time, right? Mine's changed dozens of times, but it started out with something so compelling that I wasn't willing to fail. So that kind of goes into my three tips, okay? First, you got to know why you joined, but most importantly, these three things. Number one, I was coachable. Again, I had zero sales, zero uh, skill set with any sort of network marketing company. So I had to be, I had to be coachable. I had to be teachable. I had to learn. I had to learn from someone. So my mentor was amazing. She helped me every step of the way and I was willing to learn. So that's number one. Number two is I wanted something different. I kind of highlighted that already with the why I knew I wanted something different and my ego for failing was far more important. I did not want to fail and have that bruise my ego. So I was willing to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying because I just didn't want to fail. That was number two. I wanted something different. I was shown a vision of what was possible and I was willing to do whatever it took to get there. So that's number two, that's kind of tied to the, the very first thing I shared. And then number three is I failed forward and never gave up. So again, do you see how they're all kind of tied together as one tip? I failed forward. I failed all the time. I cringe about some of the things I said or did or showed up to. However, again, I wasn't willing to quit. I was committed to this. And so I did whatever it took by being coachable, reaching out for support and saying, Hey, this didn't go so well. What would you suggest now? I also read books. I got outside coaching and mentoring once I could afford it. And sometimes I couldn't even afford it, but I did it anyway, because again, I refused to quit. I never wanted to give up. And my first commitment to myself was a year when I signed that contract and I gave them my money to sign up. I was committed. And I said, for one year, I will do whatever it takes, whatever is asked of me for one year and then reevaluate. So there you go. There you have it. I was not willing to quit. And then once I got to that year mark, I'd made so much progress. Why would I throw in the towel then? And it just kept going and going. So here I am at the time of this eight years later, still going strong. So no, you do not have to be smart. And I put that in air quotes because I've, I've changed that belief about myself. I'm smart in different ways. I might not take tests well, but I have other skill sets. So you don't have to be smart. You don't have to have a crazy skill set about sales. You don't have to be articulate. You don't have to really be anything. You just have to have a compelling reason that will get you out of bed, get you on that phone, get you making some videos, sharing on social media, whatever it takes. But that's what it takes is those three things. Be coachable, be willing to learn from others who've paved the way. You know, if you want something different, you know, it's out there. You just have to be committed and not give up. So there you have it. There's my MLM Mythbuster. Don't let anyone help make you think that you have to have a certain skill set in the beginning to be successful. Those things can be learned and taught along the way if you're willing. So take care. If I can offer any support in any way, 
please, please let me, we've got to stick together in this industry. I'm a huge fan and so grateful that I jumped in because it's forever changed my life. And I hope it does yours too. So reach out, let me know if I can support you in any way. And I'm cheering you on.